I didn't realize genetics accounted for up to 50% of bone health. So having either parent that's had a history of a hip fracture, that's a huge red flag. There are other things we want to care about, right? So we want to look at fractures related to mild or moderate trauma. Someone who's fallen from such a low height and still had a fracture, that's a huge problem. Another thing we look at is in female athletes. And this is really common actually in female endurance athletes, especially runners. When you look at high-end uh, female endurance athletes, we care a lot about you know poor nutritional state, which can lead to a very low BMI, low body fat percent, and eventually estrogen deficiency. Low BMI in general, so anything below about 18 or 19. The other thing we look at is, uh, is people who have had high exposure to drugs that affect bone metabolism. And I think the most common of these that we see is corticosteroids. That's not an exhaustive list, but that's a pretty good list to sort of get you thinking about who is at high risk here. What is the consequence of poor bone health? What is the consequence of low bone density? 